Hello Taurus, this is Mary with Mystic Wisdom Tarot. And your, because it took so long to shuffle, um, I received your Keepers of the Light, Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. And this is what 2021 is bringing in, truth and clarity. We have to have uh, speak our truth, um, stand in our power, and not fear our, our personal authenticity. Be who you are. Be authentic. Be true to yourself. I love Joan of Arc. So, my dears, let's get to it. We're going to see the four energies, and we've got, um, you know, uh, lover cards right away. I've got some fairy tarot and the love oracle. We're going to get to all of them. I would like to see what are the four energies for Taurus for March 1st through the 15th. If I didn't say welcome and thank you so much for coming, every time you watch me and hear my voice, see my crystals, I send you love and healing light always. We are all divinely connected. And so the messages that come through are from the divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, angels and guides of the divine collective Taurus. Who and what are the energies that need to come forward for them for this message for them for the first oh this one really wanted to pop so i'm going to bring it out yay it's about the heart fourth chakra archangel raphael comes through so we'll do a little heart healing there what else needs to come forward in the energy oracles from sandra and taylor oh archangel michael love you love you love you and archangel michael is the first chakra I always think of him as the heart, but um, yeah, so we are grounding, raising our kundalini. Wow, you guys are getting all angels. Amazing. Archangel Gabriel. Whew. You guys are really on a healing, beautiful journey. Thank you, Taurus. You must love this Pisces season. Feels like a bit of spring coming through. At least I hope you guys are enjoying some good weather wherever you might be. Thank you for liking and leaving messages. I answer all of them or at least give you a little smile and a heart. What is the last card that we need to work on? Oh, woman holding a heart and action kind of came out too. So we want to see what kind of action steps we might need to take. So thank you for um, our fourth chakra, the heart. Our root chakra, Archangel Michael, red, red, red. And then the throat chakra with a woman holding a heart. So let's see what comes forward for her. 44 and some action steps bonus card. Thank you, angels and guides, for this message for on our journey towards love and life path. That what is what the tarot is. It starts out as the fool and it ends in the world. The major arcana cards show us the big themes. And let's see, the court cards are usually people that are helping us in our journey or part of our journey for healing. And we got the King of Wands. So my beautiful ones, talk about taking action. It's the first, that was your last energy oracle, but here it is, the King of Wands, somebody coming in that, that is very passionate about you. Um, he wants to tell you something. I think he's like considering, what am I supposed to say to her? Eight of Cups. He's coming towards you. I see this beautiful fairy on a dragonfly moving forward. Okay. Moving forward in love. What are the other messages from this fairy, fairy realm? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moving towards this woman holding a heart. Oh, I love it. The Knave of Swords. Very playful, very fun, very spring-like, right? But, um, so yeah, somebody wants to come forward with a message for you, to you. And that is right over the throat chakra here. So if you need to respond to that message, you need to have all of these chakras cleared. Your heart, your root, and your throat. And I have had all my crystals up above so that they could be in the moonlight last night. But let me take a, this amethyst down, put this here, quartz crystal. And I see a little piece of 
Let me try to find a blue crystal for your throat and also a green for your heart and some quartz for your heart. Sending you healing love remotely. What is it that we need to speak up or what will we hear from our person? Why do we have Archangel Gabriel as well? Thank you, thank you, thank you for our Taurus Collective. What do they need to know? Saw the Sun card. Hope you guys are getting your vitamin D out there. Oh, lovely. Seven of Pentacles. Planting the seeds. I feel like something is going to come to fruition. And if you're looking at timing, like when is it ever going to happen? When am I going to get out of this um, having to stay at home? I want to move forward with my passionate king. I feel like it's probably going to happen in July. Ooh, what's happening in July? Woman holding a heart. What is coming forward for this woman holding a heart? Thank you, thank you, thank you. A healing, the star. Oh, yes, yes, yes. A wish fulfilled. Absolutely. What is that wish? It's for that king to come forward, I have a feeling. The Aquarian card. You are being, blessings are pouring down on you. You know, your chakras are cleared. Five of Pentacles coming out of being alone. And the hangman. So this is kind of like sideways, but I see that Five of Pentacles to the hangman is like getting a new perspective and stepping out of the mentality of lack and stepping into abundance, getting a new perspective, having absolute gratitude for what you do have. All right. Tell me more about the star card and what we're healing from. Eight of Pentacles were working. You could be actually a practitioner, a healing practitioner. You're staying focused on your work. Yeah, that'll get you out of the Five of Pentacles and the Hangman. You know, we have to take that time to have a new perspective. And sometimes we go through the Yen and the Yang. It's just the way this world works. Um, we can't have love without sorrow, right? And we can't appreciate things without knowing where we've been and where we where we're going so take that time for yourself my beautiful ones let's get some clarifying cards on this who is this king of wands please that's coming in that is awakening our heart who's moving towards us with a message who is this king of wands and how can we come into union for taurus taurus march 1st to the 15th healing their heart and bringing in love. Who is this king of wands and how do they feel about us? Ooh, the Hierophant could be, um, actually, I'm, I'm just hearing, could be somebody you meet in school. Um, but as above, so below, this could be somebody who wants to marry you that's moving forward. They just don't know how to really tell you so this is going to take time, and so you need to have patience, continue to heal yourself, and uh, keep working on your dreams. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Three of Cups. You will come into union. He is coming. Eight of Cups. On his way. Will they come into union? Will they come into union? Okay, so Nine of Wands is somebody who's really been through a lot. And, there, and, and, and I, vice versa, don't give up on yourself. Keep going. You will have victory and success. The Six of Wands. Why do we have the Seven of Pentacles? What's happening here? Look at the Wands. Page of Wands. You're on the right track. You're on the right path. Keep going. Have patience. 
the messages are coming from above. You probably are seeing synchronicities, signs and symbols, hearing songs. Why do we have the star card under the woman holding a heart? Coming out of conflict and competition. Healing the past. Forgiving others for what they may have done. And moving on. Six of Swords. From the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. You're moving on from some conflict. You're trying to heal that. It does take patience. Seven of Pentacles. It does take an apology. And yet... It also can just be walking away. You are the empress, so you have that experience. You know what will work in this situation. It almost feels like you've done this before. What is it that we're working on when it comes to healing our heart? Woman holding a heart. I'm not feeling that. Woman holding a heart. I need to get these straight. Hold on, kids. What is that one? Woman holding a heart and the Eight of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Confirm the Eight of Pentacles. Whew. High Priestess. Wow. Okay, my healing ones, my Taurians, you are definitely a healer. Whoever's watching this still, and you're still with me, definitely dig deep and realize you are a unique healer. This is your work. This is your life path to heal others. To build bridges. It could be in, um, you could be in a, in a relationship. You could be a counselor. Uh, absolutely, because of your experience. What action steps should they take to become this healer, to bring in this healing? Moon. Ooh, wow. Very, very beautiful. You know, we are in the Pisces season and there's that moon and the high priestess. Your intuition is super keen right now. So start journaling, writing out. What is it that I want to do for the next five years? What do I want to build? Spirit guides and angels. What other action steps? You know, also honor. Sorry, guys. Uh, honor. The wild part of yourself, the mystical part of yourself, you know, you, you are a mystic. Absolutely. A bunch of cards now. Let's see what's going on in your love life. I think you just really, I, I, I need a couple more. Hold on. I'm going to put these back in. On the action steps to move forward into your mystical life. What are the action steps that my Taurus group need to do, know to move into their mystical life? What action steps do they need to take, angels and guides, for their life path and love? Oh, seven of Swords. Let go of the booty call is what I'm hearing out weird. Yeah, right under the three of cups. Um, it's almost as if you need to really take inventory of the people in your life and cut out the ones that are just coming in and no longer really up to your level, my high priestess. There are some little booty call guys that could be coming in and out. Balance your heart, your root chakra, and your throat. Speak your truth. Don't let that happen. And if you're one of those two, you know, don't be playing with my heart. Don't be playing with people's hearts, Taurus. <gasps> See? Three of Swords. What is that 80s song? Don't play with my heart. Oh, my God. What action steps to heal the heart and let go? Move into true love. What's coming in for love? Yeah, have a new vision forward. Make a choice. If you're, there, if you're like, only have two boyfriends, choose one. Work on that one. If you only have two girlfriends or five girlfriends, choose one and work on that. There's that King of Cups and the new cycle. 
it's time for you to get out of the old cycle. Step into the, your fortune, the wheel of fortune. Be at the center. Know what matters and make the right choice. Let's see how this person, what is the love message from our soulmate? How do they feel about us, this king of cups? That's coming in 1st of March through the 15th. Who is this king of cups that is coming in? Or that ninth king of wands? Chemistry? That is definitely a king of cups. He's got some chemistry and so does that king of wands. And music, song. Could be meeting somebody at an outdoor event. I, now, listen, I know those are, those are going to be opening up like probably in July. You may have a history with this person, but I feel, and a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion. How does our twin flame soulmate feel about us in love? What are the messages that will be coming in from our soulmate? For Taurus, 1st to the 15th, what are the messages from our soulmate, twin flame, coming in? Dreams coming true. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys because I never know what these cards look like. I got spy. Okay, chemistry and dreams coming true. I feel that with the star card. Wish upon a star. Keep working on yourself. Stand in your beautifulness, Taurus. What else? That one. Oh, true love. Oh my God. Self love brings in true love. Okay, my beautiful ones, that is your message for the 1st or the 15th. If you want to stay in for the Love Oracle, I'm going to pull one now. And I'm also, if you want to stay in, I'm going to pull a um, sex magic card. They're just, you know, art depicting people in positions. Oh. Woo! Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think dream and imagine so heal your heart your root your throat and let go of the past know that you are a mystical high priestess that has access to all these beautiful energies the star what is another love message for taurus Oof. soulmate ba boom Yay, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Remember, I always tell you guys, get that book, Soulmate Secret. And if you're in a relationship and you want to turn your mate into a soulmate, you can do that as well. It's how honoring them. It's, you know, men love to be honored. Women love to be nurtured. I mean, you know, everybody has their different love language. So understand that as well. The five languages of love. Let's get out our sexual magic cards. Oh, that one was upside down. Uh oh, that was from my last reading. What is happening here? Ooh, what is happening here? What anyway? However they are, they're gonna come out. I'm gonna have to fix this deck. Tell us about our soulmate, our true love, our dream come true. We let go, we forgive, we clear our chakras. What does our lover want? What does our lover want? What are they thinking about when they think about us, when they make love to us? What is it that maybe we would like to try next time? Oh, Seven of Swords. Remember I was saying, get rid of that past lover, okay? You can't have that person coming and going. Nine of swords. Ooh, la la. Very mystical, very magical. But you have not been able to sleep thinking about this lover. Want the devil reverse. Yeah. Time to let go of the old so you can bring in the new. Tell us about the new soulmate and what we can have. The Hierophant. You can have a marriage. Six of Cups, very, very much a soulmate, you guys. Very much let go of the past, let go of the devil, let go of the Seven of Swords. And then you get the Star card again. Oh, my God. This is such a healing relationship. And the Hangman. 
Mm -hmm. Get a new perspective, my beautiful ones. It looks like love is on the way. If you let go of the past, let go of the fear and be authentically yourself. So namaste, my beautiful ones. Thanks for joining me, liking, subscribing for a private reading. It's only $24 for a 24-minute video that's private, all about you and your lover. That's just the start. Ciao, Bella. See everything in the link below. Namaste.